Hey, how's it going? Today we are in downtown Whitby as our little neighborhood tour. So if you are looking to move to uh, the Whitby area, you kind of get a better idea in terms of uh, what Whitby has to offer and the different neighborhoods. Uh, so as I mentioned, downtown Whitby, uh, so it's an area right in the middle. Brock and Kingston would kind of be the, uh, the heart of Whitby. Uh, just doing a stroll. It's a Sunday morning around 11 o'clock. Uh, just to give you an idea, uh, there are people out and about, but it's not as crazy as the afternoon or the evening comes. Uh, this area is kind of geared towards um, a lot of the different demographics, uh, whether you're a family or you are a young professional. Uh, I feel it could be more suited towards young professionals because you're close to the downtown transit uh, and there's just stuff to do and it's all kind of here. Uh, so that kind of makes a big difference for those looking to move here. The area itself has five schools uh, in total. So that's a mix between public, Catholic, and then one private. The private school, uh, it looks like a uh, castle. So that's kind of like, kind of neat to, uh, to see that. There are 11 parks as well, including two splash pads. So it's really focused towards uh, the families as well. Uh, so downtown, you'll have a lot of, uh, just kind of see behind me, uh, little pub setups, outdoor pubs, which is good good for the summer, I guess, not so good for the winter. Uh, so the winter, you focus kind of more on the, uh, the inside. Uh, so yeah, downtown Whitby, it's uh, right kind of downtown. It's geared towards all demographics. Uh, there are um, a lot of people own, but it does have one of the higher rental percentages within Durham as well. And that's mainly just because downtown you have a lot of rental apartments and they're above the stores or you'll have it where there's apartment buildings, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, so 85% own and then 15.5% rent. Well, it's actually 85.5% own, 15.5% rent, something like that makes the, uh, the math kind of jug. Uh, so let's just kind of uh, jump into the video. I'll jump into the truck, show you a little bit of what the uh, downtown neighborhood within Whitby looks. We'll look at the downtown, we'll look at the different houses as well. Uh, my name is Brad Gates and I am a local realtor here in the Durham region. And I've just been helping people move here for so long and I absolutely love it. So if you want that help, all you have to do is call, text, email, send the carrier pigeon, uh, whatever is easiest for you. And I'm just here to make everything go so much easier. So let's just jump into the truck, give you a neighborhood tour, and you can kind of see if downtown Whitby is an area that uh, you could see yourself living. Uh, at the very least, if, you're, if you don't, at least you have somewhere to come on those weekends or evenings with your family or your partner, anything like that. Uh, so let's just jump in the truck and we'll go. So we are just at Brock and Dundas right now, which is the four corners of the downtown, we'll call it. And uh, you'll see that uh, this is the, the main hub of the downtown. So all of the shops and stores and restaurants, everything like that would kind of be in this vicinity. Uh, that restaurant, you can't see it right now, but it's up there, it's called The Vault. It's a gastro pub. Uh, so we went there with uh, my parents when they came. Uh, so it was my wife and I, three kids, and then both my parents. Uh, and then even my uncle came who's a vegan and they had different options for him along with us. Uh, so it was, uh, it was kind of a good dinner uh, or a lunch or a brunch or dinner, whatever we'll call it. Uh, so now we're heading, uh, we're heading west on uh, Dundas, uh, which is kind of heading out of the downtown, but I'll circle back so you can kind of see the, uh, the shops and you'll see different people out walking different bakeries, different restaurants. There's lots of restaurants in Whitby, which is nice. And a lot of those restaurants are downtown, uh, but they're out of the downtown. There's a lot of restaurants as well. Uh, so it just kind of gives you a little bit of a, a feel for what it's like. Uh, so this is a street here. It's called uh, Eu Euclid. It's a hard one to say, but uh, I'll just drive down here so you can kind of see. So they're doing the uh, downtown or they're doing construction here, which I'm guessing is the water mains. Uh, but again, who knows for sure. Uh, so this gives you an idea. Mature trees, older homes, so they do have a lot of bungalows. You're seeing a lot of homes getting tore down and then bigger homes being rebuilt because downtown, back when they built homes in the mid to early 1900s, they were building smaller homes on huge lots. So people kind of tear that uh, smaller home down to build a uh, much larger home. And uh, the lot size is kind of allow for that. Uh, so again, downtown has a lot of bungalows. It has a lot of um, older two-story homes. Uh, so some of the feedback I've had from people who are looking for the older two-story homes is they didn't like the fact that there wasn't uh, closets and bedrooms in a lot of cases. Uh, so it's, who knows if that's important for you, but that's just some of the feedback that 
has been received. Just looking through the houses as I drive through. Uh, a lot of mature people do live in the area as well because they bought here a long time ago and they just never, never really left. Um, school here. Which school is that? It is can't read the sign because it's been overgrown. Let's see if I can circle around and see it. I feel like I filmed part of my uh, top five schools with Whitby here so I do feel it's a good one. EA Fairman Public School. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's the the school here uh, and then you'll see like side splits that's kind of I think my favorite style of home backer side splits uh, they just feel so much larger than they actually are because you walk into one level you go up to bedrooms and then you go up another level to more bedrooms and then you'll go down to like a sub basement and then you'll go down again to another sub basement so those are like the four level ones there's even five level ones which even go down even further uh, so again we're down just going through the um, the downtown style of homes you'll have uh, two and a half stories which would be like a main floor a second floor and then there's like a loft area above similar to that house we just passed uh, and then you'll have one and a half stories and two stories and uh, all of that fun stuff most downtowns they they not the best neighborhoods to kind of live like when you're considering Oshawa where their downtown is or in Toronto's downtown has a lot of like homeless people stuff like that uh, you don't see so much of that with the downtown of Whitby so it does have that very strong sense of just safety and uh, that's kind of what you want when you are uh, looking if you're going to move to a downtown you want it to be somewhere that's safe and then we just kind of circled back to uh, Brock Street. Durham Full Gospel Church is kind of right ahead of me. And uh, yeah, just kind of go through and I'll just kind of take you through the side streets. Well, actually I'll turn, I'll go straight here and I'll circle back to the left so you can head towards Oshawa and you'll kind of see that way of the downtown. Um, I do like Whitby's downtown. It's got a lot of character on it and it feels safe. You don't see a ton of like homeless or anything like that. They have little coffee shops and um, they just make it somewhere that's just nice to come. So even if you don't live right downtown Whitby uh, and you live in Whitby outside of that, you're really close. And uh, yeah, it's just somewhere fun to go. Even if uh, you rode your bike, if you're doing the pub crawl, um, that kind of thing. This is station number three. This is a condo that they're building. I don't believe they fully sold out. Uh, so this is something that uh, if you're looking to invest in a condo, something like that, station number three dot CA, that's the website. Uh, you can always reach out to me and I can help you navigate through the uh, pre-construction sales as well. Um, and then, so we'll just kind of continue going down here because you'll see there's apartment building like that right there is, uh, it's an apartment building. And so that's why the rental percentage downtown Whitby is high. So it's one of the highest within Whitby at 14.5%, uh, I believe, uh, where the owner occupied is 85.4. Uh, and so you have, the downtown is always gonna have a higher rental percentage because you have a lot of apartment buildings and they're rental apartment buildings. And uh, so that just helps drive the number up where a lot of the homes that are here, yeah, it's a mix between investors, but a lot of the people who live in the homes, they do own them. Uh, it's just you have those apartments that kind of uh, drive that percentage up a little bit. Uh, so we just stopped at, don't know what street I'm on right now. Oh, Hickory Street and Dundas, uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea. Just wait for the light to turn. You see people walk. Straight. If we turned right here, we would have headed towards Oshawa, and we turned left, we would have gone back to the uh, four corners of Whitby at Brock and Dundas. Uh, and you'll see, like right up here, uh, that's another rental apartment building as well. Uh, that's more of a on the upscale. Uh, you can kind of tell. And uh, yeah, so you'll just see 
and then uh, over there is another one and behind there is also another one uh, and so this kind of area at mary and hickory street it does have a lot of uh, the rentals and then right here on the right they are building um let's see if i can read the sign in between cars coming They are going to uh, be building block or high density residence, proposing 40 story. Uh, I might not have read that. I'll uh, double check. But they're building there, anyways. And then uh, Regency Place. Uh, yeah, and you have new homes here as well. Uh, so it's just like a little mix of all different things. Uh, so if you are looking, uh, depending on what kind of home you're looking for, uh, the downtown Whitby could be an area that you can consider, uh, but the best way to get your own vibe and feel for it is to uh, kind of just drive through and get lost um, when you're driving through and just walk it to see if it feels for you because I was just talking with people yesterday that uh, first time coming to Ajax and Whitby and they've kind of been considering those two areas and, and they were... Uh, they were drawn more to the Ajax area where I've had other people that prefer Whitby. So it's like, there's no way that I can sit there and help you answer which city is more for you. Uh, it's just gotta get your own feel for it. And uh, that's the best way to do it. And uh, so hopefully that gave you a little bit of a tour in terms of uh, Whitby and it helped you understand the downtown Whitby a little bit more. Well, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like it, be sure to comment, uh, share it with your friends, all that fun stuff. I have helped so many people looking to move to Whitby and these videos have really helped that. I hope it helps you as well. If it does, uh, be sure to give it a like. Uh, if you do want that help moving here, all you have to do is call, text, email, send the carrier pigeon, uh, whatever is easiest for you. And I'll be more than happy to help kind of with your whole move and relocation to the Whitby area. Uh, if Whitby's not for you and you're looking at Ajax, Pickering, Oshawa, whatever, and you're looking for a realtor, I can help you with that as well. These videos have reached people all over the world and I'm so thankful for that. So thank you for everybody who has viewed, watched, reached out. Um, all that fun stuff. Uh, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel. I do cover a wide range of different areas from Toronto all the way to uh, Bowmanville. Uh, again, thanks for watching and until next time.